for the children to have an opportunity to spend a little bit of time with you seniors, um, folks who have gone the places that they are headed. Um, and, and it's a good opportunity for you all to kind of relive a little bit of your youth in, in this presentation piece. Um, we're going to work towards a day when uh, we'll be able to do some things together collaboratively uh, besides eat, <laughs> count money, and, 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 and laugh at people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really grateful because I, can, I, I look around the room and I see people that loved me and cared for me when I was their age. Mm -hmm. To be able to be back here doing this is a tremendous honor for me. Um, so before I turn to a water bucket, I'm going to introduce our, our teacher, Mr. Petrie. He is also a Mount Clarion. Um, Fourth Ward, too, yeah. Fourth Ward's been right here. Mr. Willis Petrie. Hey. I see a couple of our coaches uh, coming up through Mount Clair. It's good to see them. Um, what we had to do, Mrs. McDonald told me he wanted to do character building and have academics. So I had the kids make a graphic novel, a comic book. And I said a lot of comics are based off of history. And I showed them pictures like Jaws is actually took place in New Jersey in 1916. Mm -hmm. um, the X-Men came out in the 60s. That was really supposed to be about black people, but you can have black superheroes. So. I say a lot of social commentary is done through comics and fantasy. So for the week, we talked about character, ethics, morals. And they had to come up with a story with their own superhero. They typed it, so I'm just going to give two examples and acknowledge the people and then they'll read their stories. I was telling them teachers could tell who really does work and who really doesn't with their effort. So, just so you see the transformation before we get the final product, this is Laquan's the first day. This is it, the second day. The third day. The first day, his picture, right? But this is his picture, the last day. So it's not the final product, it's also the process. The process to get to the final product. Okay. So that's why I wanted to show this. This is Brianna's, the first day, her cartoon. This is what she wrote the first day, the uh, first two days. But the point of writing in the process with Brianna, she learned how, what to take out to make it editing, concise mm -hmm. and naive. This is his, the, I don't know, the second day? The first day. The same with Rihanna, you learn how to make it concise. It's the process, not just the comics. I didn't want to um, just say that I had the help of Miss Mary. Hi. Hi, Miss Mary. Now, she was extremely helpful because she not only helped me out, Miss Mary and Miss Livingston also made their own comic, along with the kids, but I know you want to hear the kids. And Miss Livingston. My name is Miss Livingston. Hello. <laughs> She ain't moving. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, this is what I'm saying, Ms. Livingston. You gotta get up. We have somebody that is not here. And this is their work the first day. First two days is what they do. Yeah. This is part of the second day. Miss Livingston sat down with this young man all day. All day to produce this and this. Wow. Process meaning, regardless of what everybody else does, you will get this done. Mm -hmm. So he's not here, but I want to give it up. Uh, All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mary. The individuals will read their stories, and this is the final product first. Laquan, Brianna, the night. Everything for Everything Boy. Everything Boy is a great superhero. He saves innocent humans. There's a villain that he there's a villain that he keeps his eye on. 
The villain's name is Nothing Boy. He is a crazy scientist. He can make portals and he has telekinesis. He killed his mom and dad and he has a younger brother that fights all the time. The best thing boy should stop fighting his siblings. Nothing Boy, stop fighting everything boy. Learn that you should stop fighting with your sibling and turn it into something boy. Everything Boy, psychic. And then there's pictures. There's this, which is um, the villain. And the, this is the superhero. That is the right. 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 Nothing really turned into something. Invisible girl. Stand out in the field so they don't get to see you. Oh, yeah. Stop throwing that ball at my door. I yell to my brothers. I have three younger, annoying little brothers. You're going to break something. I scream as they run away laughing. Grr, my stomach growls at me. I go into the kitchen to get some food to eat. I open the fridge and my eyes were stuck on my brother's cake. My youngest brother's birthday was yesterday and we had leftover cake. I cut me a slice of on a plate and went back to my room. I noticed a green speck of something on the slice. I thought it was a sprinkle, so I ate it. Soon after I finished my slice of cake, I fell asleep. When I wake up from my nap, I go into the bathroom and look in the mirror. Ah, I scream. I wasn't there, but I was. I was invisible. I go in my room and sit on my beanbag chair to try and figure out how to become visible again. Bang, bang, bang. I hear my brother throwing the ball on my door again. All of